Hey everybody, I'm going to do a video dedicated to the nature journal or the nature books I have that I use for junk journaling. And someone requested to see the ones that I kept that I don't journal in as well. And if I and if I really or I don't use for journals, if I want to tear out pages for journals, then I try to find a book on Amazon uh, used and then I can um, do that instead and keep my books safe. So, you know, the ones that I love, I can keep. So I'll show you first the ones, the nature journals that I have that I'm keeping and bird books and such. Um, here's one. This is the Hammond Nature Atlas of America, 320 original color paintings. This book is um, a 1968 and the paintings are done by Walter for well they say who they're done by anyway um, but see you can see why this is just a really cool book and yeah it would be really cool as a junk journal too, like to cut up and put in junk journals but I just um, I don't know I couldn't do it <laughs> I just loved it too much for some reason, I just didn't feel like I wanted to cut it up. And maybe someday I will, but this just happens to be one that I didn't. So there's one, Hammond Nature Atlas of America, and that is a big book, just in case you're wondering. Okay, my next book is Bird Portraits in Color by Thomas Sadler Roberts. It's another bigger book. And just look at how beautiful these are. And the, um, the year of this, this was done actually at the University of Minnesota, 1934 and 1960 again. So this is a 1960, but look at the paintings. Like, seriously gorgeous. Gorgeous book. It talks about each bird. There's a whole explanation which each plate and it's just beautiful. Just stunning. And I love birds. So if I find something like that, this it's like a treasure and I keep it. Sorry for the shadows. I was standing up for these bigger books because they're hard. They're hard to see and I want to make sure you see them. Uh, Janet Marsh's Nature Diary. I do have one of these, two actually, that I bought at, that I used, that I gutted and used for cutting up because I like them so much um, for ju junk journals. And this was 1979. Oh, and then this edition was 1984. Um, and I just love it. Look at the beautiful drawings in this book. This is like one of my favorites. Just so cool. I just love these so much. So I definitely have two copies of that book for cutting up. Then I have this one called A Trail Through the Leaves, a jour the journal as a path to, p to place. Let me um, open my curtains and see if it can help this light situation at all. It's hard when it's getting to be evening, but that is better. But look at this one. This one's really cool too. This is also a newer book. Uh, Hannah Hinchman and 1947 originally, uh, no, is that the poem? 1997? I don't know. Um, and this one I don't plan on ever cutting out. I may, um, get this one, you know, a used copy sometime, but, oh, my husband's home. Hang on a second. I'm still taping, so I'm going to shut the door. Okay. Let me just finish this up. <laughs> So yeah, this one's got some really cool drawings and I really like it. So this one I'm keeping for myself. 
The next one is a view from a sketchbook, and this is by my favorite illustrator, Marjolaine Bestine, Nature Through the Eyes, a Marjolaine Bestine. And this, of course, is definitely a newer, a newer book, but her stuff is totally amazing. I mean, you just don't get anything prettier than her illustrations, and I just, I love them so much, and I just, this book I will never, ever cut up. <laughs> I have a lot of these pictures in my, like, some agendas I've gotten with her. Oh my gosh. So, um, I do use those. God's Acres, The Flowers and Animals of the Parish Churchyard by Francesca Greenoak, illustrated by Claire Roberts. Um, and this one is 1985, and so you can see the beautiful illustrations. So pretty. Just really, really like this, the book. So that's another book I won't be cutting up. And of course, I bought extra one of these that I could cut up because, I mean, Edith Holden. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And these are reprints of old, like, 1905, 1906 books. And these books are just amazing. I love these books. And I get these used on Amazon. And then this one, The Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady. I need to get a copy of this, second copy of this one. I think I have... It's the other one that I have. But just beautiful, isn't it? Just gorgeous. I just love these two books. Um, and this one, I see this one around a lot. Book of North American Birds. And um, I just really like the pictures a lot. And if I find another copy, I'm just going to get it, like, at a thrift store, because they show up in thrift stores a lot. And then I'm going to cut, probably cut that up then for junk journals, but at this point, I'm not. Um, some other books I'm using in my junk journals that I have cut up, um, Keeping a Nature Journal. By, and this is a there's two versions of it but it's the exact same picture in books so you can either get it like this keeping a nature journal or nature journaling by Claire Leslie and Walker Leslie and Charles E. Roth and these books have the exact same insides I'm not quite sure why the name changed but it did anyway um, I just love this for my junk journals. I might buy another copy someday to keep, but I didn't feel like I really needed to keep this one for myself, um, but I probably will. I'll probably find another copy to keep for myself, but for now I got two copies and I cut out of these all the time. Um, this is just a, this isn't really a nature book, that one. Then, um, like I said, The Nature Diary, I've got two books in this cover, um, so you already saw that. And then I have this one, which I Bird, Egg, Feather, Nest by Mary Jo Cook. And I love this one because the pictures are so beautiful. It really makes um, pretty makes some really beautiful um, junk journal pages so yeah that one and then this Walker's Companion uh, by David Raines Wallace this is a long skinny book and um, it's just all kinds of nature stuff that is really pretty cool and fun and I need I think I need this page um, oh my gosh I need this page for something I'm working on. <laughs> I'm gonna just take that out of there. <laughs> but yeah. And then, um, like I said, I have this one, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, I have this book. 
This is another bird book that I use. It's called Our Amazing Birds by Robert S. Lemon. And just look at the beautiful pictures. They're so pretty. Um, and if I ever find this one again, I may keep it. But most of it's just simple um, illustrations uh, of this sort. So I'm going to take that page out of there for this. Something I'm working on. <laughs> so those two. And then I have this is, let me see if I can find the cover. This is Audubon. Audubon. These here are Audubon. And these are Audubon's Birds of America. This is a 1950 book. And it's just got beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, the Audubon style. And so I use these in the nature journals as well because I think they're really cool and really beautiful. So that's that. And then, last but not least, I use this a Guide to the Trees. And I just like it for the illustrations of the trees. I think it's really very cool. And, um, very botanical, this one. So those are the books I use for making junk journals and the ones I have just because I love them <laughs> and will keep them forever. Okay, so I hope that helped I'll give you some ideas of books you can use for junk journaling or if you want nature books for your own um, keeping for yourself, then that's just some ideas. Okay, thanks for watching.